All Wisconsinites take the weekend to enjoy our state's lakes. The Department of Natural Resources is defending our waters from invasive species. News 3's Andy Choi shows us a new piece of equipment to stop the spread of zebra mussels. The larger challenge here is to keep them out of other lakes. Just a simple but thorough wash could be the key to keeping the invasive zebra mussel from spreading any further into Wisconsin waters. What they do, they eat the plankton, the same food and the same food sources that a, that a, a new hatch of, of walleye would want to eat. They clean the lake up so the, the, the predator fish can see the small fish and actually destroy the new hatch. Just to see you know, the change in how we fished in the past when I was a kid to now, it's completely different. I mean, there's definitely, they're going deep, and they're staying deep. Dominic Donato has caught fish all over the country and says the zebra mussel's impact on the underwater ecosystem is significant. My common sense would think is, okay, if you don't have a really deep lake that can handle the, you know, where the fish can migrate to get protection, then it could make a huge impact. Here in Wisconsin, zebra mussels aren't that bad. The DNR says less than 2% of Wisconsin's lakes are affected. The problem is those zebra mussels can grow exponentially. And it's why the DNR is training on a new piece of equipment, a hot water decontamination unit. It's a hot water. We don't use any chemicals. And I think that's going to be an important factor to many, many people throughout the state. DNR officials say the training will trickle into local communities. And then the really good part is we can provide a service to the counties and the municipalities and to the lake associations if they should purchase some of this equipment or we get more that will help train those people. All to keep those zebra mussels at bay. Andy Choi, WISC News 3. And this is the first mobile decontamination unit in Wisconsin. Zebra mussels don't just hurt the natural ecosystem of a lake. The DNR says these species can also affect property values of lakeshore homes and interfere with the tourism industry.